Each time it rains near Balandur Lake, the fort surfaces from the lake and it catches fire. The people who reside nearby and the roads and vehicles are always in trouble. So why is this happening? To know in detail, let's get into the video. But before getting into details, let me explain about this Belandur Lake. The Belandur Lake is one of the oldest and the largest lake in Bangalore and was a lifeline for the surrounding 18 villages a few decades ago. In olden times, the Belandur villagers recall the good times when the lake was full and the land next to it was fertile until 1970s. The people there used to cultivate paddy, vegetables like cauliflower, tomatoes in abundance and also do fishing. Here nearly about 400 fishing families were living in this Balandur area. The lake water that was used for irrigation was also used for drinking purpose. People of Balandur and nearby villages used to celebrate the annual Tepotsava that is also called as boat festival. This was also a seaplane channel that was built in the Balandur lake in 1940s. So such good lake which was a lifeline for so many villages is now transformed into a sewage tank. So why has this happened? This Belandur lake spreads over 891.9 acres and its water storage capacity is 17.66 million cubic feet according to the Lake Development Authority. This is the original size of the lake but some portion of the lake is believed to have been encroached over the years. A committee was constituted by the High Court of Karnataka in 2011 and has estimated the size of the lake to be 797.21 acres. However, some of the activists estimate that the lake size is to be 726. So such big Belandur lake is now highly polluted lake in Bangalore. It has become more or less like a sewage tank because of untreated sewage water entering into the lake through various inlets. There are two reasons why this Belandur lake is highly polluted. The first one is improper sewage system and the second one is lack of effluent treatment plants to treat industrial waste from small factories which also get into the strong water drain. The STPs at the lake are not effective and are limited in capacity. The domestic sewage as well as industrial effluents flow into this Belandur lake due to this reason. So you can see in this image that the sewage entering point to Belandur lake. Actually this problem in this Belandur lake began in late 1980s. According to the old residents of the area near the lake, they say that the foam formation exists even 25 years ago. Why do you think that this has happened to the Belandur lake? As a responsible citizen, how can we bring solution to these type of lakes? What can we do to save these type of lakes? Let us know in the comment box. This is Arpita signing off. Thank you so much for watching.